Hey everybody, it's Coach Steven Thompson. Today I'm going to uh, teach you a really cool feature I just figured out on my own today. It's every time someone signs up to uh, get email updates on your blog, what's going to happen once you have this set up is, you know, every time you do a, a blog post, they're going to be emailed automatically with your latest blog post. Just think of how powerful that is. So someone, you know, everyone's very busy. Myself, you know, I have two kids. So, you know, I don't have a lot of time to go check out specific blogs. But I'm definitely more likely to check out someone's content if it's automatically in my inbox. So pretty powerful stuff. So I'm just going to show you my blog here. It's You see on the right-hand side, my created a sign up form I personally use get response I just love the ease of use that it is to you know it integrates pretty much with anything I need it to and it was also a Weber I know a lot of people use that but I just prefer get response so that's what I'm using right now uh, so then if you go over to get response there's a couple of things different things you need to set up you need to create a web form which is this little sign up form right here and then we need to create an RSS feed. Well, first things first, uh, we'll go ahead and look at the web forms in Get Response. I already have mine set up, so you, we, if you want to create a brand new one, obviously you just click create, click, uh, create New, and we'll just go to Web Form List so I can show you mine. Look, I have a couple different ones, uh, but one we're going to look at, it's called Subscribe to Stephen Thompson's Blog. So let's go into edit mode so same basic principles if you know you're doing a brand new one and uh, once you click create new you know it's gonna bring you to the same form create a web form you see the different designs you can pick uh, once you click on one it's gonna show you a preview at the bottom uh, you can resize it you can you know obviously make it wider taller whatever you want to do you can put it in a different picture so once you go through there's a couple hundred different that you can choose from or you can make your own once you have the design that you want scroll down to the bottom you do next step uh, you can hear what you can a couple different things you can do confirmed opt-ins automatically set up which is cool so you don't get a lot of like spammy you know emails that are some people just opt into your stuff just to check out what you're doing but they'll use a crappy email so you definitely don't want any bad emails that way you get on spam filters which you definitely don't want to do uh, you can put a subscription tab on your Facebook fan page that's pretty cool if you want to just by clicking that subscription via Facebook button uh, you can do the default thank you page or you can make your own uh, just for right now, we'll just do the default one. Uh, but I do recommend creating your own custom thank you page. It just kind of sets you apart. So people can get to know the real you, real you, which is definitely pretty powerful. Uh, then you, after you do the thank you page, you just do the next step. Um, I'm pretty technical myself. If you're not, you have the option to click that second option. It'll give you a JavaScript or HTML code. Just copy and paste this. So I'm going to do this top one. I will install myself. So when you do this, you do you copy the whole thing. It just Control A highlights everything. Control C actually does the copy. And you see mine's already set up, but we'll go ahead and sign in. That way I can show you where you need to do it. <clears throat> Just takes a second to sign in. Okay, so then you scroll down. If you're not familiar with Blogger, this is just kind of like their dashboard. And then you click on Layout. Over the right-hand side, 
see how it's already set up. Just do add new gadget, just so you can see what it looks like. I can go back and delete it. Scroll down, you're going to want to find one that says this. HTML slash JavaScript. It's pretty easy, you just click the little plus button. Then you just do control V and that'll paste it. Then you just click the save button. Then you save it. And then you view the blog. See, and it puts it right there. And you'll see two. So I'll go back later, like I said, and just delete it. So then what you want to do is go back to your get response. And then you want to go up to messages, and then when you're doing a new one, obviously you're going to do create RSS to email. But I'm just going to do manage RSS to email. And what you can do is click on the little checkbox next to the feed, and then just do oops, edit. Once you. Uh, Actually, I forgot to show you a step. All right, so let's go back to your blogger or whatever uh, blog platform you're using. We're gonna go under. What we need to do is get the actual address for your RSS feed on your blog. What I did too, I actually did a little research last night because there's a little bit extra that you have to add to the end of it. So what I did, it's right here. If you just do a Google search for like RSS uh, feed layout for Blogger in this case, it's basically what it is. This is the name of your blog. So mine's who is Stephen Thompson blogspot dot com, and then forge slash feed slash post slash default. Question mark alt e equals RSS. That just means all your blog posts. So you just copy that and then go back in and paste it into this RSS feed URL. And then you just determine how often you want people to get emails from you. Uh, just for testing purposes, I did every time a new article is posted. That way, just make sure it works. But ongoing, I'll probably do it once a day. You can just kind of play around with the times. Depending on the type of subscribers that you have, some people want to get emails in the morning, some people afternoon, a lot of people at night. Just depends, you know. Just test it out. Look at the take advantage of the statistics. Get response as really good statistics that you can show you like when people open them, if they open them, if they actually clicked on the content in the email, etc. So just play around with it. Not everything's an exact science. Not everything works for you or work for me and vice versa. Yeah, so you just give it a message name. Like this is not the like subject line of the email. This is just so you can track it internally. Uh, subjects already filled out. Basically all that means is whatever that you title your blog post. That's what's going to be the subject of your email. Or you can personalize it. Uh, reply email. Uh, I always track this stuff. And also, what I do is I have it so it goes automatically to my Twitter as well. So, pretty cool stuff. And then you just click next. <clears throat> and then this is just kind of like a preview of what it's going to look like for you. So you can tweak it. And then you do next step. And you can pick different. Let me go back for you. <clears throat> you can pick different formats too on this page. This is just the one I ended up picking. And 
And then right here is I set up another campaign specific just for blog subscribers. So who is Stephen Thompson blog subscribers? Just want to pick the one that you want the email to go out to every time. And then just click next step. <clears throat> this is a very important step. You want to make sure that you're not too high on the uh, spam score. So, so you just click inbox preview. This actually takes a couple minutes to go through. But you don't want to be too high again on people's spam radar. If you get into... If your spam score gets too high, you start getting blocked from people, which is definitely not the uh, purpose of this. And then after that, you just click save, and then you're all done. Alright, so, to test this out, I'm just going to do a new... Let me delete this one first. All right. mm. I've noticed too it does take five to ten minutes usually for you to uh, get new emails even though you say instantly I do know it does take a few minutes for it to actually show up we can test it now but See if it's there, but I'm not sure if it's going to be there or not. Yeah, you can see it's not there yet, but... But as you can see, if you check... Here's that first test post ID, and you can see it showed up. So it's pretty powerful stuff, like I said before, and then you just click on read more, it actually brings you to the post. And to actually get on the list, if you just do... They put in their name and their email address. Then just click sign up. It's going to bring you to the confirmation page. You can customize this. Too many emails. <clears throat> See, and then you just confirm your subscription. Still working on the image. <laughs> that one looks way too big, and then it just says thank you. So, yeah, it's taking a little bit longer than I'd like. Sometimes, again, it takes a few minutes. But you will get emails, I promise you that. If you have any questions, definitely reach out to me on Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash Coach Stephen Thompson. Anything I can do to help, I'll uh, definitely help you out. So, please leave feedback below. I'd love to hear from you. Take it easy.